In this video, we're going to look at how to cite sources using Chicago style, which is also the foundation for Turabian style. We'll cover where you need to cite, what information you need, and how to format your citations. Chicago style has two different systems, notes and bibliography and author date, and we'll look at both. You'll normally be told which system you need to use, but if not, ask so you know what's expected. First, where do you need to put citations? Citations come in two parts. The first part is in your paper, at the end of every sentence that uses ideas from a source. In the Notes and Bibliography system, this is a footnote or endnote, and in the Author Date system, it's an in-text citation with brief author information in brackets. Then, the second part is at the end of your paper, where you give a bibliography or list of references, which has all the sources you used in your paper. The two parts work together. The footnotes or in-text citations refer to the full information about the source listed in the bibliography or list of references. You need to have both parts to cite correctly and avoid plagiarism. Next we'll look at what information you need to create a citation. The information you need depends on the type of source you're using. For a scholarly journal article you'll need the author and title of the article, the journal the article is published in, and the date of publication. You'll also need the volume issue and pages. If it's available, give the DOI, which is a unique ID number assigned to the article. If the DOI isn't available, list the URL of the article web page. For a book, you'll need the authors, the book title, the publisher, the place of publication, and the publication year. Some books have chapters written by different people. If that's the case, you'll need to cite the individual chapter rather than the book. You'll need all the information about the book the chapter is in, along with the chapter's author, title, and pages. For other types of sources, you'll need other information, so make sure you know what type of source you have so you can check to see what information you need. Now let's look at how to format citations using Chicago Style. Chicago Style consists of rules on how to combine and format information into a citation. There are two different ways to do this, author date and notes and bibliography systems. First, let's look at the Notes and Bibliography system, which is the most popular. In this system, you need to insert a footnote or endnote at the end of each sentence in your paper where you refer to a source. Notes are indicated by a superscript number at the end of the sentence, outside the period, and should be consecutively numbered. At the bottom of the page or the end of the paper, you need to give information about the source in the note. Put the number of the note in front of the citation, and make sure the numbers in your paper match the right notes. Your notes should be formatted in a specific way. The first time you refer to a source in a note, give the full information about it. For a book, that would include the author's name, first name first, then the title in italics with each main word capitalized, the place of publication, publisher, and year in brackets afterwards followed by a comma, then the page number. If you refer to the same source again, use a short form that only has the author last name, the first few meaningful words of the title, and the page. Then at the end of your paper you give a bibliography, which has all the sources you referred to in your notes. This means you need to give the citation twice, once in the notes and once in the bibliography at the end. The bibliography should be in alphabetical order by author last name. Your citations need to be formatted somewhat differently in the bibliography than they were in the notes. The notes include the page number, but the bibliography doesn't, and the author's last name is first in the bibliography. The punctuation is also different, with periods between most citation elements rather than commas. Next let's look at the author date system. Then at the end of your paper you give a list called References, which has all the sources you referred to in your paper. The references list should be in alphabetical order by author last name. In this system you need to put the author's name, publication year, and page number in brackets at the end of each sentence where you refer to a source, either in quotes or in your own words. If you mention the author's name in your sentence, include the year in brackets right after the name, then put the page number in brackets at the end of the sentence. The citations in the reference list need to be formatted in a specific way, which is mostly the same as the bibliography in the Notes and Bibliography system. There are a couple of differences, though. The main one is the placement of the year of publication, which comes right after the author in the author date system, 
rather than after the publication information, as in the notes and bibliography system. That's a summary of both systems in Chicago style. Make sure you know which one you need to use. As you can see, the small details like punctuation and capital letters make a big difference in both systems, so pay attention to them. There are different rules for different types of sources, so you'll need to use the Chicago Manual of Style to make sure you're citing correctly. You'll find links to that and other citing resources on this page. If you have any questions, please ask us at library.wlu.ca help ask us.